just tell him that Nick's Nick's there because he's trying to get away from OS nine, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, better not say that. <laughs> well, you're t- you're telling him right now, so you tell him where we are. Well, no, just... no, I don't want to say much. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, <laughs> This is the Oz K Fest. Uh, there, okay. There's the Australian version of the American um, K Fest, I guess. Okay, and, and K Fest is an Apple up. event. Sorry. K Fest is an Apple event. Yeah, it's an Apple Apple Two, mainly Apple Two event, isn't it? Yeah. Like no no Macintosh in other words, it's okay. just just the real Apple. Is there a Mac in the room? No, I don't think there is. Is there? oh well, there's Mac oh, laptops. Yeah, very modern no, there's, hello, hello from the United States, random person. Well, actually, now that you say hello from the United States, he's he's a fellow countryman. Oh yeah. He he, he came over from the U.S. Um, and he's um. Welcome. Tell us all about the apples. I speak Same American. Like, you got to talk to me in American. <laughs> I, I speak. I, I speak American. I can translate. It's no fun that way. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he brought all this you see on the table. Well, let me let me put, go go back to this gentleman that we're just looking at here. Oh, hey okay. hey hey um. We're we're going to be doing a um a Tandy color computer talk show tomorrow, and we're going to probably show some of this footage. Do you mind telling us like who you are and what you're showing off there? Would you like to be on our show tomorrow? Oh, he's going to record it. So okay, I don't know. Oh well, yeah. Have a quick yeah two second burst. I'm so and so, and I brought this stuff, and uh, this is what I do, and that's his toilet paper. No. <laughs> <laughs> This is Australian paper towel. <laughs> Ours are this long. <laughs> the toilet rolls, they're narrower. What the hell? Yeah. This place seems like Texas. Everything needs to be bigger. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. Um, yeah, well, anyway, he brought all this stuff. Okay. I won't try to do It looks like a bunch no, of technology. It's going to be on video. It's going to be seen by the next day. So yeah, okay. Well, here's, here's something for anyone watching the show tomorrow. Uh, this is an Apple 2GS. Oh, uh, nice. A pro... Was it a prototype? You, yeah, you can yeah. talk about it. I'll try and get you on the... Yeah, you want me to hold it? Yeah, because I can't see the yeah. screen from this angle. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. All right. So the uh, next 2GS that should have been the first one, they probably have could have, but it's so weird that the machine's lagging behind me. Yeah, it is. It's uh, slow. Built-in floppy drive and hard drive. Oh, neat. They put the SCSI on board and took away two slots because they included the SCSI card and the high-density disk controllers on board, so they okay. needed extra room. So basically, think of this as our equivalent of having a Coco 4, which never uh, okay. got produced. This is so, Apple's version of their Apple 2GS Plus, essentially. Okay. Which they did release. So this is a very rare machine, and he brought it with him all the way from uh, the United States. That's cool. That is super cool. Uh, um, so that that was that that was an actual production model, not like a prototype or uh, anything. It was well, to be a uh, production was, model. Yeah. This one, the way it sets now, isn't really set up for production. It's it's still a hack job of trying to assemble it. But they took production stuff and just modified it and made a new motherboard to slide in. Oh, that's cool. And the rest of the stuff can tell it's it's handmade in a shop. Um, we won't let everyone see that. <laughs> some blank boards. Okay. And. Uh, that's a big circuit board. A few things, a few things in here that that uh, will get shown later on today it's for the first time. I don't want to get them out. Surprise! Yeah, no, I don't want. Okay. But, okay. Uh, a little something unique. That, <laughs> oh. Space then, war game. Okay, it's very blurry with this. Okay, now yeah, that, that looks like uh, the Enterprise. Okay, I see it. I see it yeah, better that's up close. Right. A circuit board. A circuit board. A mate, circuit board that enterprise. looks like the Enterprise. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. It's a space war game, so you can put LEDs on it. And oh, neat, them. neat, neat. Probably remake some more of them and actually light them off and see what they do. Yeah. But. All right. Well, That's cool. And, and what is your name, sir? Sorry? The gentleman we're speaking to, what is his name? 
Tony Diaz. Tony Diaz. Th hey, Tony, thank you for sharing that with us. I appreciate it. All right. <laughs> Moving on. Who are we going to go? Ah, we'll go over this crowd. Yeah. Here we go. We're going to uh, catch a few. And what do, what do Apple yeah, people call themselves? They don't call themselves Apple nuts or anything, right? Hey, hello from the United States. Hi, no, mate. Well, oh. modern Max. Yeah. Modern Max. <laughs> That's cool. There we are. Ooh, we're speaking to it. That looks like Sean, and it looks like Sean. Yeah. Uh, now, my name is my name is Steve. We do a, we do a retro uh, video podcast about the Tandy Color Computer. So we we're going to show some of this off on our show yeah, tomorrow. So he's going to do this in his show. Okay. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> All right. All right. We love Apple too. We love the apples. Apple, yeah. That's right. Oh well, we'll just be quickly there, and that'll do it. Oh, look at this. We've even got. Oh. What? Commodore 64. Nice. So, Very nice. Commodore 64. A Sinclair, a uh, Timex Sinclair is here. A model. It looks like a Model 100. Model 100. Right? Yeah. And we have look. Uh, a female. Hello. Wow. And, How are you? <laughs> what, what's what's a female? <laughs> you don't normally see that at these sort of places. <laughs> <laughs> no, we've got, no, but we've got two. Two. <laughs> They're multiplying. Oh, yeah. I need these other ones come here. So there you go. How's that? Nice save. Yeah, nice save. Okay, I'll, I'll live a bit longer. <laughs> Here's another guy's. Um, tail How are you? To Steve. Hi. Hello from Hello from America. Oops, I'm gone the wrong way. How are you? Nice to see you. Okay. Yep. And he's actually got a few interesting stuff as well. Yeah. What? Want to tell him what? Was that was that a ping pong table you just walked past, Nick? Oh yeah, we've got a ping pong table here. Okay, that's can that's a party. This? Can you see this device here? This looks like the dome from Robbie the Robot or something. <laughs> it's called a Tasman Turtle. Um, it basically links to an Apple II, and you control a little little robot. Let's say. Oh wow! So, um, yeah, that's cool. So uh, it links it links to an Apple II via the connector on the top. Now, does it have to you stay tethered, or can you load it with uh, commands, and then it can it run independently after that? No, I don't think so. It doesn't run remotely, does it? No, no, it has to okay. be tethered. Has to be tethered. It's, okay. It's an original one. Not for seventy-eight. So. No, this, this was made in nineteen seventy-eight. So, so you, you really know, you, you know what this is? This is almost like an augmented reality version of like uh, Logo, where you can move the turtle on the screen. You well, can actually yeah, move a yeah, turtle, yeah, a turtle yeah, in the yeah, real world. You, yeah. you use Logo. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, don't worry. Yeah. No. Uh, he actually even ha had a radio-controlled car, which I don't know if you can if I can get the damn camera. I, yeah, see that? Oh, yeah. That's the uh, Dukes of Hazard. You got the General Lee right there with the. Uh, yeah, yeah. You had that. You had that remote control with uh, the yeah. Apple too. You don't don't uh, um. On board and everything. Don't bring that to the United uh, States. They're gonna want to tear it down. <laughs> Yeah, it's really <laughs> awkward with this laptop. But anyway, I don't know if okay. I'm lining anything up here. No, that's fine. I can see an apple with I can see an apple with the hood off. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. This one's interesting. Hi. Here Hi, how are you? It's Hello here. from America. I'm running. I'm the organizer for Oz K Fest this year, or one of the two organizers. Okay. Um, this machine got a uh, fast chip 2E card in it, which is a new product out of Bulgaria. It's got a variable dial uh, adjustable knob here that allows the speed of the CPU to be changed from uh, 0.2 megahertz all the way up to 16 megahertz in uh, wow. exponential increments as you turn the dial. So it's given us a real, uh, real fast accelerator that's only been uh, in, in production in the last couple of weeks. That's neat. That's really neat. Yeah. What's that? Has he got power? So I don't know if you can see the, the car now. Yeah, I see the car. Yeah. Oh, you're going to fire something up. Right. Is that Apple running OS 9? No, no, it doesn't. <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> no, we only have working computers here. <laughs> oh, that's the dial, huh? 
CPM. Oh, and that's like an LED readout of the speed of the CPM. LED readout on the speed display, and I can turn it down. Oh, wow. And turn it up in real time, oh, so the wow. CPU speed is variable. Is variable in real time. Wow. And can the bus handle that speed? Uh, uh, it's the CPU is only accelerating the uh, the processing that the CPU is doing with the data that it has in the cache memory. Okay. So uh, it will, uh, I believe, it buffers some of the code into the internal memory space and then is able to process things um, quickly based on the what it's got in its cache. Rate. And this is this is still a 6502 processor. 6502, yes. Yeah, and is it a real one or is it like an FPGA one? Oh, it's a real one. It's a real one. Uh, I think he's done a FPGA implementation. That... Mm -hmm. I can't tell. Yeah, we're not sure yet. Okay. I'll just turn it around. It's like it's like Spinal Tap. This one goes to 11. Okay. Okay. I like that. Maybe we've got to come over here. It's... Okay, can you see it now? Yeah, is it the lighter colored um, card in the in the bus? All right, <laughs> we'll move on. That's neat. Now, That's neat. So what we say? Did he say? Did he say 16 megahertz was the speed on that? Uh, how, how many megahertz? 16 megahertz. That's yeah. incredible. Apple 2C. I love the Apple 2C. Uh oh. <laughs> He's got an Apple IIc over here. Yeah, I love that. That's an awesome machine. Various um, gadgets plugged into the back of it, which, um, what do they do? Um, that's a Bluetooth um, a, a games port adapter. Oh, wow. Um, but I've just got the... Um, uh, the USB stuff working at the moment. I haven't got the wi I haven't got the Bluetooth um, <laughs> wireless stuff working yet. Did you and say USB? A, uh, a HDMI converter that, that displays HDMI. Oh my God! You have USB and HDMI coming out of your Apple IIc. Yeah, we, yep. yeah. That's incredible. Yeah. Good on you, mate. Uh, are you <laughs> uh, these are these are USB, so you can run your video signal on your PC by um, yeah. Uh, so video to USB, USB to PC, and then you run your video uh, display on your PC. Okay, so it's like an analog capture, or yeah, it's a, it's a yeah, do, it's capturing the digital signals coming oh, out the, of the computer. Okay, cool, cool T-shirt too. <laughs> Back to the future. Dude, yeah, full picture, eh? Yeah. <laughs> We're all into 80s over here. 1.21 gigawatts. <laughs> I just lost my voice <laughs> trying to do that. That's the one. He's the man. <laughs> <laughs> He's going back to 1984 tomorrow, so we got yeah. money for today. That's cool. Thanks for sharing. <laughs> He's got to get to 88 miles an hour. <laughs> well, that's CPU. He's got to turn the dial up a little bit. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> All right. Now, we look out the window. We look, we can see the uh, great Australian outback. Oh, I see a couple. I see some kangaroos and wallabies out there. <laughs> yeah, some kangaroos and wallabies. That's it. <laughs> well, I think I see a dingo. <laughs> Actually, why don't you guys all grab your boomerangs and throw them at them? <laughs> <laughs> I was just saying there was actually a wallaby out there um, the other day. So. <laughs> Got you. So there's someone there actively um, doing some electronic uh, building, building a um, uh, serial to Wi-Fi adapter. Oh, that's neat. Yeah. Hello from America. Hello from America. <laughs> How are you? Did you hear that? He said, Good eye, mate. Good eye. Good eye. Good eye from America. Good eye. Good eye. Good eye. Good eye. Oh, this one There's a few more things happening over here. It's really awkward with the camera the wrong way. <laughs> Good eye from America. How are you guys? Good from America, he said. Hello. Good eye. Is that video coming through all right? Yeah, yeah. It's fine. Okay. Well, we'll, we'll just do a quick run around and, uh, and that's, that's about it. Now, it's still early in the morning for you guys, right? Uh, it's about, um, I'll just check the time. 
It's now at almost 11 a.m. Okay, okay. So is everybody yeah. there, or are some people still out in other areas? Or? Uh, there's some missing, but... Um, okay, but, no, I mean, it's, yeah. that's, a, that's a nice little turnout. It's a nice little... You, yeah, yeah. I mean, you got more people there than they got at the Coleco Fest in New Jersey, so... Um, yeah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah. nice, nice. So this is, this is basically like uh, our version of Coco Fest. And yeah, you're, yeah, and you're great, kind of uh, lucky enough to squeeze it all into actually, one space. Before you um, you finish up, um, what I'll do is I'll I'll walk outside so you can actually see the um, the venue, the dingoes and the wallabies. Okay, there you go. <laughs> this is it, the Great Australian Outdoors now. All right. So this is the front of the exhibition hall. Now I'm. I can't see too well here, but That's can fine. you see the, the, the I, car park? Yeah, I see. I see I'm the big walking. roundabout there. Yep. Yeah, so I'll just walk out to the car park and then I'll turn around. Now that okay. there, uh -huh. can you see the building at all? Because I can't yeah, see. Yeah, 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 stuff. yeah. I can see it. I can see. I can see like yeah, the main so entrance there. Yeah. That's the main exhibition hall. Okay. And all around the exhibition hall over there are all the little um, cabins. Uh, where people stay. Okay. So, so it goes all the way around behind it, the hall, and around the other side. So they're all coloured, and that's okay. where people stay. Uh, and then they all, you know, wake up and go into the hall and do whatever. So that's it's not just for. Yeah. So a lot of school groups come here as well, but it's it's yeah. a pretty good um pretty good site for um for the uh the fest yeah and, and really i i can't show you but um you know if you look down the road there uh -huh. uh just across the road there's the beach okay yeah, nice so there's it's there's surf and everything over there so very nice anyway i'm outside the building and still getting wi-fi so that's pretty good <laughs> yeah yeah it is all right well that's about it that's cool that's though Oz K Fest. Okay, that's awesome. Thank you for sharing with us. All right. Uh, are well, you gonna? Will you be able to join us tomorrow, or will you be in transit? I or? don't know because because um, the hall is closed uh, early in the morning, so I can't um, I can't come in and use the Wi-Fi. Okay. Uh, at 4 a.m. like I normally do. Right, 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 right. But um, so yeah, that's why I thought it would be good to do a. a a bit of a, a presentation now yeah. uh, and then record it and play it back but one thing I do notice with it like with it with very similar to the color computer okay uh, like you know people are uh, well friendly and are willing to help they're all a bunch of very keen um, um, Apple II enthusiasts um, just like in the Coco world, they tinker with um, hardware as well, mm -hmm. making little gadgets and stuff and playing around with software. I did a presentation to, um, to show what, what I had done in the TRS-80 world. Um, and, uh, well, I'm still here. I'm still alive. <laughs> so, <I've survived. laughs> so, yeah, that's pretty good. And, and I've gotten involved because my brother-in-law, who is a co-organizer um yeah he's a co-organizer of the fest he's an apple person uh -huh. so he asked me to come along and i've um uh yeah i just came along to have a look that's great all right well you know go coco go uh, apple yeah I, th th I can't thank you enough that's great that was very cool to see you know to see what other people do in their little things and honestly it's it's uh, it's about the spirit of the event so it doesn't yeah. matter if there's seven people or 70 people if you've got people there who are kindred spirits who are, have the same passion for the same things and you have that camaraderie yeah. it's it's a good time you know yeah that's uh, right and that's really cool i mean i was really impressed to see that you guys have usb adapters for the apple II and hdmi output and, yeah yeah and everything else and um that's really impressive you know well just like in the coco world where we're all talking about the coco sdc as being you know the great breakthrough in uh floppy disk drives uh the apple II has the same thing they've got a whole lot of um Sure. SD or CF card adapters, and it's the the latest and greatest as well. So sure, sure. You know, there is a lot of 
similarities in the hardware projects that are going on between the two groups, um, uh, software as well. Um, you know, they're all they do much the same sort of things as uh, what we do. It seems to be a common a common uh, retro thing that happens amongst, I guess, all all the uh, retro communities, and it's it's great. Yeah, people just discovering new things on old computers. Ah, so um, uh, just so because if you don't make the show tomorrow, so here's what I've been told: um, Bruce Moore has recorded a commercial about OS Nine, and I believe it's a parody, and I believe it is something that's supposed to be maybe not flattering towards OS Nine, and I also believe it's done in an Australian accent. So I believe this commercial oh. might be this commercial might actually be a uh, you know. A nod to you. Do you want me to play it for you if you can't see it tomorrow? Because I haven't seen it yet either. Yeah, well, I don't know if I'll be able to get in because everyone, is, you know, I'm an early waker. I can easily. No, I'm wake saying, up I'll, I'll, I can, I'll play the video for you right now. I'll let you see it. Well, I'll go inside. Okay. Uh, you might as well stop the recording at this yeah. point, and uh, yeah. and I'll go inside to watch it on the, on the other screen where it'll be a bit clearer. So okay. give us yeah, give no us problem. a couple of minutes. Yep. Yeah. Good day, mates. This is Nick Marionette, author of. <laughs> so yeah, I I want to get your reaction to this. All right, so I'm gonna bring the I'm gonna bring the video up. Hold on one second. Um, you, you, let me know if you need to plug your speakers back in or whatever you got to do. Yeah, I've got them plugged in. Yep. Okay. So let me know if you can see my screen. I can see your screen. I tell, just tell my brother-in-law and uh, explain to him first of all the uh, concept behind this first. Okay. There's a guy who's made a video. He's going to present it tomorrow at the, at the festival. I'm well known in the color computer community for being anti OS 9. I'm always the one saying that's crap. Well, yeah. Someone's made a comedy um, skit about about it. So have a look. This is he's showing it to me now because I won't be available to see it tomorrow. All right, I think we're we're ready to rock and roll. All right, you ready? You can see the screen. Yeah, yeah I can see it. It's the electronic wombat. Okay. <laughs> All right, you ready? Right, quite yours. Though. Here we go. Can you hear it? Good day, mates. This is Nick Marionette, author of such color computer titles as Donut Disaster, Rupert Rhymes, and Rockstar Pilot. And I am here today to tell you about the world's most fabulous operating system, OS9. OS9 and its current incarnation, Nitrous 9, is the most advanced operating system ever created. And what makes it so good? Ease of use. I find OS 9 so incredibly intuitive that I haven't once cracked open the user manual. And yet I've been able to create such incredible games faster than the time it takes to sing Waltzing Matilda. Using OS 9, I expect my next game, Funstar, will be done this weekend and distributed exclusively on ROM cartridge. OS 9 forever. Any resemblance to actual events, to persons living or dead, is purely coincidental. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> now that is good. <laughs> I actually played the, um, the video of the uh, bit clock here at, during my um, talk here. And they all loved it. Remember the big clock commercial? Yeah, yeah, that was good. Uh, yeah, I played it in. They loved it. Oh my god, that was killing me, man. That was absolutely killing me. <laughs> that was very good. It's actually Australian-ish. <laughs> yeah, right. But uh, it did a good job. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, um, cool. Well, cool. Yeah, no, it's good. I mean, if I can log in early, but um, yeah. Well, you're definitely you're definitely going to be on the show. So if you're not there in person, you're going to be there on video. So, and and I think your I think your reaction to that video we're going to keep because that was priceless. 
I've got to be up. This show's on at 4 a.m., which I normally do wake up for. I might come here and just sit out there, and you know, at 4 a.m., I'll just be part of the show. That's fine. It's going to be dark. Oh, it'll be lit up with the laptop. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, are we allowed in here? Yeah, you can use it all night if you want. Okay. Yeah, well, all right. We we might um, I might log in around four four a.m. over here and um, watch the show. Yeah. Okay. That's awesome. Yeah. All right. Yeah. yeah it was a truly international show you got there, Steve. Yeah. No. 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 No kidding. Excellent. Excellent. All right. All right. And um, we'll um. Arnold Schwarzenegger and Kiwi Herman will be making a, a showing. <laughs> I can't promise. <laughs> get down, get to the chopper. <laughs> so, you never know. All right. You never know. Okay. All right, Nick. Thanks for thanks for sharing right, with us. Then. No problem. Bye. Take care. Good eye. Good eye. Well, yeah. <laughs>